Hello and welcome you crazy people, my name is Jay and I was going to say there's some big news but on the scale of what we've had in the last couple of days this is much smaller but it is big news in terms of Star Wars Legion and we've got a new rules reference which FFG are calling 2.0. I find that a little bit weird to do that but okay there's basically a new rules reference and there's some updated points. Caveat, I haven't played Star Wars Legion in like seven, eight months. <laughs> And before, in fact, maybe be longer. No, it's about seven, eight months because my wife is uh, uh, gave birth, and my wife and my child are both asleep. That's why I'm not being super loud. But yes, so let's let's just go through it. Let's just go through it. And let's talk about let's talk about what it is first and why it's a bit weird. Um, no, well, actually, let's talk about why it might be a bit weird. So as you know, um, the game is moving from FFG to Atomic Mass Games, and um, the one of the lead designers, um, Alex David, no longer works for FFG. Um, and I won't talk about that too much because I find it awkward, but um, then the timing of this, obviously we knew it was coming, it had all been talked about, I just, it's just weird, isn't it? Like, I'm, I'm, I mean, you might as well get it out of the way and move on, I guess, but um, basically the price of vehicles is coming down to put them in line with the good vehicles, <laughs> simple as that, right, that makes sense. And um, yeah, I've not played for a while, so if I get some things wrong, I don't hear me, don't correct me, I can't be bothered. Um, some things are changing on the cards now they talked about how they were reluctant to do this but I'm happy to see this and I wish they would do it more but at that point we might as well ignore the cards and the way you should do that is to have an app <laughs> you need an app rather than a pdf but okay so a um, couple of things like the airspeed is getting um, well the, the, airspeed, the airspeed is getting surge to crit um, Chewbacca is getting scale and um, duelist and stuff like that so yeah, they're buffing them pretty much. There's no harm there. The points of the air speed are considering it wasn't one to seven five, it's dropping to like one twenty five or something like that. We'll we'll have a look later. Um but that's not really the interesting thing. I mean they are if you've got them and you they're your favourite unit, but they're not really like the super interesting things. One of some of the in these rules are quite important. Um units that are embarked on a vehicle with open transport you, uh, transport, you can now perform attacks and be attacked, but when you're attacked you get heavy cover while you're embarked. I don't know if I like that or not because it was quite advantageous sometimes to have a character that couldn't be hurt unless No, you could get hurt, but you had armor. I don't know, do you know what I mean? Like you could get hurt, but you had armor to cover you. So depending what your opponent had, you were possibly more safe. I don't know. It's interesting. You can attack sort of a bit of a nerf to the Vader mobile in a sense because um, he doesn't have the range anyway. <laughs> but um, not very a problem. But yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Um, yeah, cool. This one's interesting. If you've got a compulsory move, you can now do it at the start or at the end of your turn. So that's going to like, really change units with speeder. So for example, like the Ur speeder. <laughs> they really want to buff this earth speeder the, the meme is possibly truly over um so you can basically do all your actions and stuff like that and then you get uh, to move at the end so you could like move and attack and then you get to escape so you get like proper bombing run kind of things so, cool that sounds interesting um agile and tactical you know to, to actually perform a standard move to get them fine um, I know I haven't really played with them, so I don't really know how much that's going to be important. But this is one we sort of all knew was was coming. I'd, I'd seen this talked about, and it's sort of a bit obvious. Again, I've not played really against the clones, but apparently... Well, I played against them once in a skirmish game. But apparently the standby token exchange was just getting ridiculous and a bit abusive, so um, and not very a fun player experience. So basically, you know, can't share standby tokens fine okay um uh, yeah that's it it's eliminating that ability I, I still think there is a way of getting them i think some of the characters might have them not sure not bothered let's move on to the actual rules so there's quite a few things in this i said i'm not actually going to go through all the rules you know you can download it if you want and you're probably going to have to if you want to play a game so there's that um this is how they're going to do these upgraded cards you can see the changes to chewbacca and the wookies um, well, the, yeah, they're getting scale and Julius and stuff like that. Well, Chewie's not, but you know what I mean. A um, couple of things. Yeah, the airspeeder, we already knew that. 
Uh, Son of Skywalker, but uh, is this new? Wait, I didn't realize. Have they changed Son of Skywalker? Update card. After Luke performs his first attack, he may perform a free attack action, even if he has already performed an attack action during this round. I don't know how that's different. It sounds exactly the same, so I'm just going to treat it as it is. I quite like the fact that they're changing wounds. <laughs> um, that's interesting. I'm not going to read that. And uh, yeah, okay, so let's go to the interesting thing, the points. Caveat, as I just said, I've not played in a while. Not not many of these points, they've not highlighted blue where they've changed. <laughs> so we'll see if I can remember like what's what. Pretty sure the speeder bikes haven't changed. Not sure about the ATSD. I think Bobber coming down, uh, Bubba, Bubba Fett. I'm pretty sure he's, he, that, that's that's lower, but I am not don't really remember if it's new. I think Vader stayed the same. Um, I think Palpatine may be new, not who's unsure. I said it doesn't really matter, but not really. I mean, there's some changes, but I don't see anything here where it's like a massive standout. Um, nothing here really uh, surprises me. The tank, this has come down. Uh, they did mention that, and to be fair, that's true. Some of the upgrades, they talked about how the anti-tank, anti-vehicle upgrades have come down. I will just have to take their word for it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now the Rebels have got quite a few changes. They look like to be the most changed. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I don't know if this was in the last one, but the ATRT weapons that now actually have a little bit of difference to them. They were at one point all the same, I think, which people found a little bit weird. Oh, that's actually, sorry, that's the wrong ATRT, but to be fair, that's the same on that one. I don't know if that's new or not, but um, yeah, uh, yeah, there's some stuff here that I'm sure is down. I cannot. <laughs> I, cannot, I think the Pathfinders are probably down from that list. The Red Bull Officer I found a little bit weird, but there it is. The Earth Speed is 130. I think I said 120 before. Why? Why is this 69? <laughs> I mean, I'm immature, but why is that not just 70? But then again, to be fair, the Pathfinders are 58. Right. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, it's fine because you make your list before you game. It's not like you really, you know, you don't have to remember it all. But um, there you have it. So it looks like the Rebels have got the most changes, but um, that's what I'm reading in, in Facebook and Discord and stuff like that. But I don't actually know how true that is because my memory is not that great. But um, for the Galactic Republic, I would presume clone troopers are up. If, you, if you're going here, I wouldn't be lowering them. They were quite popular. But were they 65? No, I, they must have gone up, right? Um, yeah, but everything else is fine. The Arc Troopers 78. Yeah, fine, 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 fine. Separatists, I don't think much change. Uh, I don't. There's a couple of changes here, but again, I don't really know what they are. But I just scrolled through them just so you can see them. Uh, you guys can complain about it or whatever you like. But that's like pretty much it. I'm really sorry, I can't remember all the points. It's embarrassing, but there it is. Um, for me, if you're going to change, well, there's quite a bit to like, unravel there, isn't there? If you're going to change the rules on the cards. What is the point of the cards? Now we had that debate when the points changed, but it was a little bit more understandable because, you know, you make your list once and that's it. Now, the whole advantage of having the cards sort of goes away a little bit. You go to an event, you play Bob, you go, Bob, what have you got? And he goes, I've got an air speeder. And you go, oh, I'll go have a look at what the air speeder does. You've not played against an air speeder in Yonks. Why would you? They've been garbage. So you go around and you have a look and you go, right, okay, I'll remember what they have. And then they go and do something different. The point of the cards is diminished. Now, if you're a high level competitive player, fine. But I went to tournaments where people were still relying on cards. And again, if I was playing clones or the separatists right now, I would have to rely on the cards. So granted, I don't think they're actually changing, but you know, bear with me. So Imagine if you got into the game with the clone zone, you'd, you'd not been able to play against the rebels and stuff like that. So um, if you're going to change the points, that's sort of one thing because you do it before the game. If you're going to change the rules, then I think it's not that you have a problem, but the way that you distribute those rules, I think is a little bit poor. Um, I think having just a PDF of them is a bit weak. I'm all I talk about all the time. I always talk about an app. An app would feel less bad. Imagine that I had an app, you have an app. I can go. We go like, oh, the tournament are linked up to, together. Is this Steve or Bob? Is this Bob? Yes, this is Bob's list. And I can go like, oh, T forty seven Earth Speeder. Oh, it's got surge to crit now. Oh, that's that's been updated. It says at the bottom. That's relatively new. You may not. You may miss this or whatever. Like, please, like, 
I feel like that would be less bad. Obviously, I know a lot of you don't like using the idea of technology, but I mean, it's 2020. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. Um, obviously, as I said, the timing of this is weird. We know Alex and Cole was working on, uh, were working on this rule set. So um, this is essentially their work, hence why it's on the FFG website rather than Atomic Mass Games, because Atomic Mass Games at the minute haven't done anything related to this game uh, officially. <laughs> now, it sounds like they've not necessarily had time uh, with it either because I don't, I don't want to go into too much detail, but it sounds like the Alex leaving was a bit of a surprise. Therefore, if it was all a surprise to people and they'd had to keep that secret that it was happening, then uh, it means that, you know, development from that point of view hasn't existed. So it almost reinforces the idea that everything that we're going to see for the next three, six months, maybe even a year, probably all stuff FFG worked on. When they will officially, like, move over the articles and stuff like that, I don't know. It, they may not have even have had... Um, you know, the people at AMG may not, uh, who do the website, may not have known this was coming, therefore they might not have been able to update their websites so they could have these articles and that kind of stuff. So, um, there'll be a, there'll be a slow transition of that, I think. But anyway, so this is Alex and Cole's, like, work. Um, I think that's almost guaranteed. Well, it is guaranteed. Uh, we already knew that was coming. They spoke about it in podcasts and stuff like that. Um, so take that as what you will. Um, why would you call it a 2.0? I do not know. I wouldn't necessarily say the rules really required a 2.0. I'm not sure what the numbering system was, but it is what it is. Um, the open transport rule, fine. I'm indifferent to that necessarily. The speed of things, cool. That gives a bit of advantage to the speeders. And the standby thing, from what I could tell, was not a fun to play against. So that's probably for the best as well. Um, that's it. I've still not played in Yonks, but uh, I just seem to be on a roll at the minute. I made a little poll Um on in one of the chats talking about what would you think if I covered Age of Sigma because I've just been tempted to get into Age of Sigma so just to warn you that that might happen <laughs> um there you have it let me know your thoughts as I said if I've missed anything obvious like don't correct me don't correct me just tell me what you think <laughs> um because I openly admit that it's not going to be perfect have a most beautiful day uh, well you can like and subscribe go on like like go on go on like and go on like and subscribe um have a beautiful day goodbye